Let's take a look at what it means to have a non-von Neumann architecture. Wikipedia lists the characteristics of a von Neumann architecture as a CPU that has an arithmetic logic unit and processor registers. Well, we have that. Uh, control unit that contains an instruction register and program counter. Yes, we have that. Memory that X stores data and instructions. Well, we sort of have that. We have separate data and instruction memory. Uh, external mass storage, sure, we could have that if we put an SD card on this design. And input and output mechanisms, and of course, we have that. It really wouldn't be much for a computer if it didn't have some I.O. of some sort. What makes the von Neumann architecture problematic is referred to as the von Neumann bottleneck, which is the shared single memory that's used for instructions and data. And it's also somewhat of a security risk as well, because if you can get into the memory as if it was data, you can modify code and that can be a security risk. So what we're going to attempt to do here is make an architecture that has separate data and instruction memories that are physically separate. And the instruction memory will be uh, read-only so that it can't be self-modified. Uh, two of the features we're picking out of the von Neumann architecture and trying to attack by eliminating them here. If you want more information, you can see our wiki pages for these products, and we have YouTube videos on them as well. We have a store in Tindy where we sell all of our cards. Thanks for watching our video, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.